पॉडकास्ट में Now today you're part of a truly remarkable global phenomenon around the world thousands of people have been gathering in meetings to experience the power of ideas A surprising thing about today's meeting is that we here at TED have had almost nothing to do with it we lent our name our format a few simple guidelines and some of our content but the really hard work to make today happen has been down to your local organizers and we're truly in awe at the passion and dedication that they have shown to make something like this work a thank you to you too for taking the time out to come and be part of this exciting conversation about our shared future Please write and tell us what you make of the event today. But for now, on with the show. Hi friends. I am Dhaira Pujara. You can call me D. I am the curator, co-founder and organizer for the first ever TEDx conference at Drexel University. I would immediately snap this opportunity to welcome all of you for this conference. Eight hours from now, when you walk out of this auditorium, you are going to be full of ideas, inspiration and food. Yes, we have a lot of food. <laughs> I would now introduce one of the most important people without whom it would have not been possible to have this conference right here. He motivated me, he inspired me. He picked me up when I had a fall. He threw me back again so that I can get up again this time on my own. He hurt his back working on this conference and couldn't be here today. He's truly an amazing human being. He's a program director for product design at Drexel University, Michael Glaser. <laughs> the second introduction is about the guy. You are already impressed with him. He's the guy who made those letters. He's the guy responsible for the official logo for this conference. And also, I would take this opportunity to mention that he's also the guy who wrongly printed the program guide which you have in your hands right now. So, so I'm going to just call him. It's Eric Fredinson. So let me take you into the world of Why Not? So this year's theme, Why Not? breaks the imposed barriers between arts, science, history, economics, philosophy, engineering, technology, and design. And that's what Drexel University stands for. Simply put, this is fun yet powerful theme that works on many levels of academia, artistic, scientific, and social context, challenging the myths and constraints of modern thinking. Asking questions are very important in our lives. As a child, we would ask everything that we saw around. However, as we grow up, we make some amazing bad friends. Two of them mainly. One is fear, and the second one is embarrassment. How many of you over here, I'm not talking about the TED speakers, dreamt of speaking at TED sometime? Or, you know, have or had dreamt of speaking at TED? Okay, we have quite a few. How many of you have tried working to speak at TED right now? How many of you actually tried to get there and speak on that podium? None, right? Okay. Uh, so that's precisely my point. We don't even know what we can achieve until we let our first friend go away. And who is that? That's fear. Because we have that fear inside us. How can I go to TED? It's so big. We have to let that fear go away. OK, so I'm just not just talking. I'm going to show you what I mean by this. I had auditioned for a TED talk last year. Yes, I did. That was the world auditions for speaking at TED conferences. Why don't we know about this? Because we have fear inside us. We never thought that we can do this. But I found out, and I auditioned for this. I'm going to show you a video of that. Being an engineer by profession, let's start with Newton's famous last prism experiment. Have a look at it. Phase 1, you learn the quality of being innocent and learn to breathe. Phase 2, you learn the quality of being stupid and ignorant, become a quick learner. Stage 3, you have the quality of risk taking, remember your first baby steps. Stage 4, an exciting mark, you learn to be more happy and do what you love. Stage 5, you develop a unique ability like dancing or something and you learn to dream. Stage 6, you wear a reality check, you drop off your hat, put up a tie, and you learn to be more patient. Stage 7, now this is what I call a red face for people aging from 80 to 100. Now if you go beyond that age, I will call it an inside. <laughs> <laughs> now with all this 
qualities inside you, you can either keep it and become a white light or just like an Indian's famous experiment, use this white light, strike it hard, get the best colors out of you. This is my idea of spectrum of life. Thank you. No, this wasn't clap worthy at all. <laughs> it wasn't. I miserably failed over here. This was shot right here in this auditorium for eight hours continuously, starting night at 12 o'clock until eight in the morning. I had to actually bunk my classes. I went to my, one of my classes red-eyed, and I'm like, my professor's like, what did you do last night? I'm like, I auditioned for a TED. He's like, come on, you should have a better excuse. So I, I, this clearly shows I failed, right? And by showing this video to you, and the possibility that the entire world on this, you know, I just failed and I showed this video. I also let my second friend go and that was embarrassment. I just embarrassed myself by showing this video. And what happened? Let me tell you, nothing happened. Did you get it? Nothing really happens by getting yourself embarrassed. I'm alive. I'm pumping enough blood to all my body parts and I'm ready to do the next big thing in this world. So all I wanna say is go out, dream big, think more, make new mistakes, doesn't matter even if you repeat the old ones. Jump off a cliff, die off a plane, swim an ocean, reach the stars, touch the sky, and most important, do not listen to me. Just do your thing and ask yourself, why not? So its main context is to provide the joy in the participants and to involve the wonder of a child for everyone involved. Why not? It permits us to ponder, to dream, and to ask each other to reach and speak of the potential of our respective fields of study. Most importantly, why not speaks of Drexel's potential as a leader in setting a course of action as to what's coming next. So that's pretty much what our conference is all about. I would also take this opportunity now because of whom this is all possible. And they are Drexel GSA, our official student event partners. Our support event partners consist of Drexel School of Biomedical Engineering, Science and Public Health Systems, Drexel University College of Engineering, IEEE, Bayada Institute for Entrepreneurship, Drexel University Libraries, Westfall College of Media Arts and Design, and Drexel University. And our technical partner is Drexel IIT. Besides that, last 36 hours of my life have been so important for this conference. And I'm so happy that I, that I didn't enter into a natural periodic state of rest for the mind and body. In bodily movement and responsiveness to external stimuli, I didn't fall unconsciousness to all of these things. Basically, I didn't sleep. That's what I mean. So, seeing all you attendees right here for the first conference, it's pretty exciting. We make sure, we promise you to have the best of the experience at TED right here at Drexel University. Talking about Drexel University, most of you might not be aware, we have a lot of guests outside Drexel. What is Drexel all about? So Drexel was founded by AJ Drexel in 1891, right here in the heart of Philadelphia. For eight consecutive years, Drexel has been ranked in the category of best national universities in America's best colleges by US News and World Report. The university placed 88th overall in 2012 rankings and the fourth straight time Drexel has been in the top 100. It also ranked sixth among national universities in US News of up and comers. Those schools most cited by university administrators nationwide as making the most promise, promising and most innovative changes in the areas of academics, faculty, student life, campus or facilities. Times Higher Education World University Ranking placed Drexel among the top 100 universities in the world. Enough of talking, I'm going to show you a video from Drexel University which shows you what we are all about. Yeah.